Water. Of all things required to spawn life is the most essential creation of this universe. It is so abundant that we don't even understand it enough yet. Consciousness is the brain-riddling topic that has made several geniuses to stay awake all night because where does it come from? Where is the source of it? Why is it there in the first place? But we are just not done understanding the human mind. And there comes a group of individuals who claim or say that maybe, just maybe, water is conscious. Or more precisely, it is capable of remembering what container it was stored in, what flower was floating and geez, there's a lot to talk about it. All in all, some experiments and studies say water has memory. Jack Beneveniste, a French immunologist and water researcher, first said that water could still contain DNA of an added substance even after being diluted to the point that it could not possibly still contain even traces of the original substance. It implies that water somehow remembers what was added to it even if you have completely taken out the substance. This was not appreciated nor acknowledged by the scientific community back then, but this whole inception and phenomena caught international attention when Dr. Masuro Imoto, a Japanese researcher, did a rather interesting experiment with water. In this experiment, Imoto kept water in a variety of bottles and each bottle was labelled with a different message. These messages were positive and negative words such as thank you, love you, I can do it and I hate you. Later, drops of water from these bottles were allowed to cool down and form snowflakes like crystals. But what would such a vague and non-physical experiment show us anyway? Well, what he found out was quite astounding. The crystals formed from the water drops that had positive messages on them were more geometric and aesthetically pleasing while the crystals formed by water with negative messages were chaotic and non-uniform in shape. He further played Mozart and heavy metal music to samples of water and captured images of the difference between the two crystals and a crystallized sample of the reservoir water before and after receiving a Buddhist prayer. According to Dr. Emoto, the results always indicated that water is conscious of the environment it is exposed to and can understand the intentions and the emotions. Since then, there have been numerous attempts to reproduce and verify the findings of Dr. Emoto in the international community, but very few have been able to prove or obtain the same results. Because of this, the concept of memory of water is often tagged as a part of pseudoscience. However, in 2015, the Max Planck Institute in Mainz, Germany, published a comprehensive study where they found evidence that liquid water indeed can store information. Even homeopathy is supposed to work on this very concept of water memory. More light is needed to be shed on this topic before we finally come to the conclusion. But as for now, it does not hold water, oh, sorry, ground I mean. Let us know if you believe in water memory or not in the comment section. We will meet in the next video. Until then, stay tuned.